Hello and welcome to my Let's Play Civilization 6 Gathering Storm on DT on the Apocalypse mode as Egypt. I'm playing the Apocalypse with Egypt for good reasons. The Apocalypse mode has terrain effects like lots of disasters, forest fires, floods, tornadoes, desert storms, all the good stuff. And of course volcano eruptions. And you can buy the Soothsayer that costs faith and that can cause those disasters. I would like to play with that. Now Egypt has already synergies with that. One is does not receive damage from floods. So I get all the benefits from floods but no damage. Sadly what I found out, I will just say it now, the Soothsayer causing a flood will not fertilize the land. I'm not sure if the soothsayer causes an eruption from a volcano, if that will fertilize the land. What I know if it causes a forest fire, that certainly will fertilize the land. So burning your own forests can have benefits and causing floods at enemies can have benefits. Otherwise Egypt's bonus trade route benefits always good production for districts and wonders if next to a river when you have lots of rivers always good especially combined with the no damage from floods then a chariot archer that is good but rather expensive in my opinion way too expensive but if you have a really productive strong city it could be a good unit to kill someone but if production is so so then it's probably just better to go for archers because for the price of one of these chariots, you basically build two archers. Then the Sphinx, another big reason why we play them. Plus one faith and one culture. Plus two appeal and plus two extra faith if next to a wonder. And plus one extra culture if built on floodplains. As you see, incentive to build on floodplains next to wonders. Great synergy with the flooding rivers that we just get benefits out of. Also faith generation, which is good. So this means we have other means besides luck being lucky with the Pantheon to get faith and buy our Soothsayer. Now I also got really lucky with the start. I'm sitting on a plains hill. This means it will be two food two one, and two production. Unlike a grassland hill that will be two food one production. The, the feature on it not the resource, just the feature will get removed when I settle. Also have an amazing tile right next to it and other two two tiles that are really good. I have geothermal over here so we will be able to do a quite a good campus district. And it's all hills and lots of forests and jungles, amazing. I will settle in place. It tells me to settle over here and I'm not sure why. I think settling in place is very fine. Oh my god, even more resource over here that is good. This start is really damn strong. Let's go directly for a scout. Research wise. I'll go for the mine. I want to improve one of the quarries for the boost. And to have another 2-3 tile that also can improve the diamonds, which um, will be a 2-3 tile as like the camp over here. While if I improve the camp, it just gets more gold. That's why I prefer the mining over animal husbandry. Animal husbandry affects this and this, but this is too far out and not that great. While mining affects this, this and this. Although I probably only improve one of these two. I have a pasture over here, a camp over here, another camp over here, and a plantation over here. I may consider Temple of Artemis. Another plantation over here. Let's quickly be greedy and check out the Temple of Artemis. Four tiles, camp, pasture, plantation. Within four tiles of this wonder. So, 
that means three tiles in between here well even here would work problem is here I don't get the 15% Egypt bonus and I basically have to build it next to this it has to be adjacent to a camp here I can't really because I, I would need to be able to chop the jungle which is iron working bronze working that's up here while the, the wonder is over here that would be a little bit long to go here and and here Basically, I would have to go here first, so I can chop the rainforest. And if I'm unlucky, then I just see that there is iron under this rainforest. So I'll probably scrap the bonus of Egypt, unless I build it here, but then I don't reach this anymore. So here, here could be a good spot for the Temple of Artemis. It would give me one, two, three, four, five extra amenities and of course the basic benefits of a temple of Artemis which is four food and three housing. Early on that's a lot. Good to know. Oh and another player over there already. Sweden? And the city state and we're not for oh my god that's bad and he's very close oh my god why does a warmonger have to be very close that's his capital even nice at least I got that. That's really good. Mm. Yeah, go east. I'll go directly into a builder. Okay more good land more hills I really want a city in here somewhere so I will prioritize the city um the settler lands was that number two no that's a continent that's appeal that is settler yeah I want a settler in here that's for sure oh the volcano over there yeah I want to move on that tile and then come around Good, first with that city-state, that's really good. Culture early on is so powerful. Yeah, I really want to secure the sugar and maybe the bananas and certainly the deer. And to just have a buffer city behind. I have to see how I do it because I have either the hill or the river crossing. Oh, nice. Good that I went up here because he didn't. He has his capital here and didn't discover this city-state, really? Wow. Despite he starts with 8 units. Wait, is this coast? Oh my god, this is coast. Oh, come on, Kahokia, I wanted to move onto that tile. Astrology, okay. I need, want to know what the land in the south is, but I also want to see if I get more city-states over here, since I was first with this one. Maybe I'll even buy a scout. When you find yourself in really, you erupted and damaged my warrior this very turn. Oh wow, I sneaked it. Wow, I glitched the game. <laughs> I could move twice because I did it. Yeah, if you sometimes do it fast, you can basically cheat the game. Go for God King and Barb Fighting. No, I'll actually go for unit experience. I will risk that.
Culture wise, yes, go for this. And here, animal husbandry. And then directly into a settler. <laughs> I had the window open today. And that's already reason enough for my nose to go crazy. Yeah, directly into a settler. Um, yeah, go here. Oh, mountains. Interesting. Wow, I did not even click on that, but it's okay, I guess. Um, hill promotion, please. Settle, settler lands. Okay, no river over there. An oasis in here that I could sh certainly settle. Could even settle the coast and get a get an aqueduct down here. That would be okay. I see a bunch of cities. I see a city here. There will be a city down here, a city over here, potentially a city up, a city up here. Decent amount, not decent enough yet. And I don't intend to war this guy. Although his military strength is really not as high as it could be. Okay. Near the Mesodes, opposite Laodicea, is Hierapolis, where a hot springs and a plutonium, both of which have some singular properties. The water of the springs is so easily consolidated and becomes stone that if it is conducted through watercourses, dams are formed consisting of a single piece of stone. Hmm. Hmm. Two tiles, impassable natural wonder. Gives plus one amenity. It's okay. Provides additional amenity if adjacent to an entertainment complex. Okay, who cares? But now comes the good thing. Major adjacency bonus to theater square, campus and commercial hub. And standard adjacency to holy site. And provides fresh water. This wonder is the best wonder you can have as Australia oh my god Australia is anyway broken so I think we will go for double settler in this scenario because I want to settle here to secure this land before he starts forward settling me and then I want to rush over here Okay, did not get damaged again, and let's pick this one first. Let's sell him gems. That's a good price. Delegation? No. Okay, he doesn't like civilizations at peace. <laughs> so if we find a far away person, I could declare war on someone else. <laughs> you had to go for the tile up there, really. Oh well, it's just one extra turn. Hmm. Oh, I, I cannot kill this yet. Not with a scout. I could get the ambush maybe with this guy. Oh, th there was no experience overflow. That is sad because I got experience out of the goody hut. And I was already close to the next level, so that experience overflow was really... And I have the card in where I get double experience, so it was like... Pfft, oof! Nice! This is... this is... this is crucial. Look at this, this is very nice. But it counts as a military action and therefore doesn't give me all that much. But the, the fact that this is a city-state is very good for me. 
Because it means not another civilization contesting over this yet. So double settler into Temple of Artemis, I think. Unless there is someone else very close. Oh my god, this is great. Let's go here. I don't need to change at the moment. Faith from a ruin would be really good. Let's go here and then here. There's a civilization. Why does this have more production? Was there already a forest fire? Or maybe there's a I desert nearby and it got a habooped. Not a settler, please. Yeah, I'm not gonna risk this goodie hat here. Barb Scout is annoying. Nice. This means I will get a Pantheon and I don't need to keep working on that. Let's go here and then here. Okay. I really need to meet this. This is Sweden. This is Macedon. Ah, oh, that's. that's Can you take this from where you are? No, I don't think so, because this is... One, two, three. No, this takes more and more movement. I don't think you can take it, if I remember correctly. Sometimes my brain goes bonkers. Wow, the settlements is still here. Fire goddess is here. Earth goddess. Earth goddess is, by the way, amazing with Egypt. Because um, Earth goddess works on all the tiles that are... Um, come on. Not on this. This is only charming. But for example, on this. All the tiles that are dark green. For appeal or higher, it gets plus two faith. Now you may say, but there are many red tiles, most of them are grey. Yes, because you've got jungle. And jungle gives to all neighboring tiles n minus one appeal. While forests and mountains give to all neighboring tiles positive appeal. So, if, if I build, for example, here a sphinx, then all the neighboring tiles will get extra appeal and therefore these two get extra faith. If I get a sphinx next to a sphinx, they give each other the extra appeal, and therefore the, the sphinxes get even more faith on them. Therefore, I can make an amazing faith game. And considering there are a lot of them on light green, it doesn't take much to get them on dark green. Actually, all that is necessary is a sphinx next to it, and I get dark green out of a light green tile. Therefore, with considering I have some mountains over here, some mountains down here, I think the best is really Earth Goddess. Fire Goddess can be good too on the Apocalypse mode because volcanoes erupt so frequently and are really good. But um, I don't see that many volcanoes. Also over here is really appealing land. It's still most of it is light green. Well, th this stuff here is dark green. That's already, these, these tiles are really good. And if I just put a sphinx somewhere, it's so easy. 
It's so easy to get ridiculous faith with earth goddess, decent land and the Sphinx. I will admit religious settlements would be good too, because I would basically save building this settler and be able to get or build have three settlers very soon. That would be also very good. Although by picking by picking the free settler here, this one will get more expensive. So I will go for the Earth Goddess. Because I think that is superior. Not right now, but it will be rather soon. I want to change policies, that's why I went here. Production is right now much more worth. Great bath on turn 21. That's DT for you. Okay, good, he went away. Wow, another flood. I really want to be close to this flooding. Um. I will move with you first in case I can meet someone. Uh, met a barb camp. Where do I settle? Here is safer, here is better. I don't see the land down here. That's true. But I expect I can just settle off river potentially and get an aqueduct if I if I settle here I think I'll go and settle here less tiles shared with the capital I could even go onto the hill I wouldn't be bad I really would like to make friends with him. Not a continent. Does this give experience? No. I'm five production, five away from getting. I will need a builder. What are you working on? This tile, that's a good tile. Yeah, that's a good tile. As you see, Earth Goddess gives us faith here. <laughs> and if I remove this and put a Sphinx on it, it will be even better. What was that? Oh, nice! We have northern lights in Egypt. I mean, it's basically radiation. <laughs> but it's pretty. Another city state up here. And wow, this land in here is good. Do you want to change? No, not for now. I may want to, to see where that barbarian went. I really don't want to deal with that. Fez. Okay. I'm actually very rich. a unit to deal with this where I could save the money and see what I can do could send a trade route to him how much do you dislike me <sighs> the peace is the problem huh? Oh my god, that's bad. <gasps> I'm 
Anouk. Good. That's not you. Where are you? And you're friendly towards me. So over here. Ah, oh, she got control over the city state. And she's friendly. That's really good. Unknown reason. Do I need money? Or Five gold per turn. How much would you give me? Five gold per turn. I'll trade with him because this way it means if he declares war, he will have amenity issues since I'm giving him two luxuries. And I suck him out of his money right now. <laughs> Which means he can't buy units or upgrade them as easily as he would otherwise. Also, you are not staying there. Okay. I could also just get a builder. Could just buy a builder. How long do you have after this for a builder? Four turns. Two production is... Okay, you will have overflow, yeah. Go for a builder afterwards and then this. Because a builder could build a sphinx and guarantee me the golden age. I have two faith from Shedet. So you changed your tile assignment? Well, fine, change your tile assignment then. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, okay, wow, really? Really? Okay, lots of land in the south. That's great. <laughs> Barb camp, I could work on that. You know what? I'll give this guy an escort. I'm not feeling safe sending this guy out alone. I mean, I know the immediate surroundings is safe, but I don't feel comfortable once I'm over here and don't have an escort there. Um, smash me in the river crossing, please do. Yeah, reaches this one as well, that's good. And in theory reaches this one as well. Nice, yeah. Here is really good for the Temple of Artemis. I shot an arrow into the over there although settling the wonder should also be era score get mm. pottery 
part cam would also be error score. Did it already start? No, not yet. <laughs> One population lost. Wow, the tiles are ridiculous. But the population loss is also kind of scary. You did grow. Yes, work on these two, that's fine. What's the appeal on this? One on this? One. Okay, so a Sphinx in here doesn't really give this more appeal. Um, that means I don't really want Sphinx in here right now. You are probably going for this marsh tile, right? 11 turns, it's a bit long. If they could bring you with this one over here, that would be nice. Or keep you, because I will have Magnus in a few turns. Pop 6, so once I settle the city I will have this. Because in 4 turns this one is pop 3. Well, or in 10 turns when this one grows, that works too. Yeah. Since this is a this is a mine, but it's on. Mm -hmm. Okay. Could kill this. It's a bit dangerous because of this guy, but I sh think I should survive this guy. Three arrow score. Only one more error score, so just meeting a person would be enough. Therefore, I really don't want the Sphinx. Because the Sphinx is error score, since it's my unique improvement. Really? That was unexpected. And very bad. Scout a little bit with this guy, I guess. I have, oh, I should have changed here. Mm -hmm. How do I want to settle here even? Maze can be removed. Hmm. Wait, this is fresh water. So I can build an aqueduct towards it. I see the Petra city. And a bunch of other cities. I may go for the further away city. I'm not settled a wonder yet. Unless right now it starts to count down, then then I will do it. Hmm. And I may do it. Mm hmm. In ten turns, I will settle this.
I could settle here, up here, and down here. So I will settle here. And this will be the this could be a Petra city, right? It's not the greatest Petra city though. It has the chops though. It's a good city, it has the chops. Mm. Let's see if we can meet this civilization. It would be the last era score. Not a city state that I probably could have met if I only went there. Mm. Good, let's settle here. It was luxuries like air can be. Good. Good. Madness, please, to my capital. This city starts on a builder, and you try to no, to discover this person up here. Okay. <laughs> yeah, do I want to change anything? No, I don't think so, because I'm not building settlers. The wonder card is not unlocked yet, that would be at state workforce. But in five turns I can start to drop a little bit something. That's a good deal. Thank you very much. No man ever wetted clip. Go for a trader. Scout some more land. Mm, irrigation would be good. Writing would be good. Bronze working would be good. Bronze working would be good. Can chop jungles and can see where iron is. Five turns for this. Okay. That works. And get my pasture boost here. Seven turns. Easy. To be honest, there I gotta be a little bit careful. Because if I meet more than one person, I may get too much error score. Okay. You're Going for a culture game with Sweden in the game is of course 
slightly problematic at least. I could declare a surprise war on her, on Sweden. Just to become friends, Karls, wait, Antioch is Sweden's city state, so I wait with that. This city can of course build the pyramids afterwards. That's a late Stonehenge for DT. Mysticism is the mistake of an accidental and individual. Good. Now, state workforce. Oh my god, these tiles are so good. Two turns, then you get it. Okay. I wait two turns, then I buy these tiles. Do I want to change any? I cannot put those in yet. So, plus one production for all my cities is best. You would give 51 production. That's 70. No, one more turn. One more turn, then I can chop this out. Oh, nice, I could get this one. Okay, I want to wait with that as well. With the Envoy, I will not use it now. Because I only got one. And I could use it to get Mohenjo Dara, which would give me Era Score. But right now, I don't want more Era Score for the next four turns. beaten them no one turned <sighs> oh come on one turned oh this is so sad this is extremely sad only 60 product you get only half production back Come on. I got beaten to it by six production. I could have gotten it if I wanted. I mean, I could have just bought a, a builder two turns ago and chop it out. Easy. Are people in the chat? Or are those all bots? Anyone who, in the ch who, is, who is in the chat and isn't a bot? Reload two turns ago and get the wonder? Or keep playing? What are we doing? My urge is to reload. Come on, I'm playing, I want to have fun. And for me it's more fun to reload. Mm. I have to go to this turn.
And um, yeah, to reload or not to reload, I think you should just do what you enjoy more. If you feel bad for reloading, then don't reload. Play without it. If you don't mind reloading and just feel from the first stirrings of life and just feel bad for not getting the wonder, especially by one turn, this hurts so much. If I only put in like four turns, then I don't mind because then yeah, then it was probably a mistake to even start it. But here missing out on six production, that's that's really not much. So yeah. I I can't let it go. That's why I like to reload. Also, I have less... Um, uh, how do you say when you... I don't feel any shame reloading against an AI that anyway gets... What does it... What does DTAI get to production? Like 60% or something? Or even more than that? Was it 70%? of maybe 66 percent at least a huge amount of extra production they get for anything they build including wonders so they they build wonders in less than half the time you take and because dtai starts with multiple research technologies already unlocked they can start with these wonders much earlier and they start with a builder and three settlers and lots of warriors therefore they can already settle and improve their land and that's why that's even that's the reason why stonehenge and um the great bath go so early i've seen great bath go on turn 18. that's impossible to beat without cheating as well <laughs> I mean turn 18 in that time first of all in that time I can't even research that <laughs> that technology maybe I could if I would go for it first and start with a builder right away but still on like turn 12 I would be able to start the wonder giving me six turns to build it how chop down forests with the builder that you built in this time Okay, sure, but chopping down the forest requires also a technology. So even if I got super lucky and get both technologies for some reason in that time, maybe my warrior did run into two technology city-states and therefore I got the tech to get it, it's still six turns or, or so that I, that I only have to build it to beat turn 18. That's... That's close to impossible. A single barb would ruin it because going for a builder right away means you have no defense except for that one warrior. I'm not saying it's completely impossible. I just say it's super highly unlikable. Unlikely. Not unlikable. Okay. So... Did I miscalculate? <laughs> Did I miscalculate? I think I need an extra turn, no? I need to chop next turn. If I chop this turn and then move next. Did I miscalculate? When was the turn? I, I no, I went I had three auto saves. That I went back, right? Mysticism is the 
Two turns, yeah, no, 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 it's, it's fine, it's fine. Because I missed it on the turn, I got this tile, that's when it was finished. So I have to finish it on the turn before that. So this is two turns, so when this drops to one, on that very turn, I have to finish it. This is 51. This is... No! Wait, what? How could you... 51. The last autosave was 400... was 43. I think I messed up here. I think I messed up. Yeah, this was the turn. Now I get beaten on the turn while the turn rolls over. So I have to go four turns back. Ah, that happens when you don't place, right? Now it gets beaten, it's built, right? Yeah. Okay. So basically I have to go four turns back to go three turns back. I went three turns back, but that only means two turns. That's a big comp. Yeah, and I got this now. So you s you told me two turns, therefore you lied. Okay, I'm really sorry. If we have some loading in this episode. Yeah, I went to turn forty one. But this I can't count this because I lost it from this to this. So these are only two turns. Okay. Oh, there I there I am reloading and abusing the reload and failing at even that because I can't count to three. I mean, the initial thought is, oh yeah, I need to go two turns back, so let's reload the save game from three turns away. But that doesn't work. Yeah. Because I need two turns. From the first one, series of life. one turn I need to buy the builder. Now we need three turns. At one turn to buy the builder, another turn to move the builder, and another turn to chop it. This means, in theory, I don't even need that because I can just pick the one I already have, chop the forest, move, and chop the forest. That's three turns, just like when I buy a builder. Therefore, we just pick the existing one. So I, although that also means I will chop for less. Okay. I will go through this. So, Magnus is not established. This means I will get only 30 production out of the first chop. Of course, if I have two chops, then 30 production is fine on the first chop and on the second one I will get 51 production. That is really good. That is enough, that is enough and would secure us the, the wonder one turn earlier. Because we got one turn. You might say, wait, there were four turns. Yeah, but that's why the four, the 51 production would come in. I would chop, I would get it. A turn earlier, the chop, where Magnus was already established, I would still lack six production. Or something around that. Therefore, I need two chops no matter what. Since it's only a little bit of production, I like. Now, I can buy the Builder and then do two Magnus chops the moment he established and finish the Wonder on that turn. That's one turn earlier, therefore giving me the Wonder. Means I have to spend money on the Builder. Or I do two chops with one Builder and save the money that I would spend on the Builder and wait with that. This means I have more money. Of course, I could use the builder that I bought with money, but I will get a golden age in very few turns, and once I have the golden age, I will pick monumentality, which allows me to buy builders for cheaper. And of course, I would rather buy my builder then. So it's really, do I want a, less, a lesser chop, or do I want... Oh, what do I value more? To have the high chop or to have the cheaper builder? And I think since I have so many, so much money, since I'm rich, and 
jobs are really valuable and also limited, I will go for the better job and spend my money on this on this builder first. Good. Give me this boost, very nice. Um, go down here. Discover Sweden. Very nice. Nice to meet you. Good. Stay here. I will not go up here. So I know it's a dead end. Move back here so we can declare war on Sweden. Not because I want war with Sweden, but I want this guy to like me. And Sweden is the least threatening. Because she's far away. Good. Move. And next turn, we know, next turn, when this is on 5, we still can continue. This must be on 3, right? Yeah, on 3. It will lie, because it will get it on after 2, and it's 2, the turn after. So it's only 2, not 3. Yes, it's a Stonehenge, we know that. There is the forest fire over. There's another flood. Mysticism. Very nice. We will get this tile the very next turn. Good. Now, did I want to chop this tile or this for probably I wanted to do well? See, see how how little production we lack. Nine, nine. When I saw the house of Artemis that mounted to the clouds. Those are the marvels lost their brilliancy. And I said, Lo, apart from Olympus, the sun never looked on aught so grand. So, of course, these reload shenanigans in multiplayer, you can't do that. But then again, in multiplayer, there is no one with having a ridiculous boost to production. And of course, in multiplayer, with this much money around, I would have bought a builder long ago. I would have probably not even went for the Temple of Artemis. I mean, in multiplayer, if you start next to someone playing Alexander, you better get some military up. The chances are high that he wants to kill you rather soon. Good. And I want an oracle probably right next... Oh, I could build the oracle up here. And then a culture district in between. That sounds, that sounds like a nice pl play. Yes, please. Go directly into the oracle. And go here. So the overflow that we got from this chop will flow into the oracle. Here we will wait. Because I want to wait. Oh. Okay, the wonder was, of course, also extra error score. So I did not even have to meet Sweden. But then again, are you guys at war? No. Because you, I see you levied city-states units. You are at war with someone, that's great, that's perfect. So I will declare a surprise war on you. Sorry Sweden, it's Alexander needs to be my friend. <laughs> wow. Do I want to change policy? No. Also, what... How how daring am I to not build any military units? It's greedy, I admit it. But then again, oh, I don't have plantations yet. Whoopsie. Um, um, yeah, it is greedy. But um, then again, oh, he sends me a trade route. Very good. Then again, I have money. I can buy a unit or two if I need to. And, to be honest, I intend to. Sphinx here could be good. Because this is now better appealing thanks to... Oh, but Rainforest on it is not very appealing. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. It's a little bit hard to get good benefits out of this. I will harvest this at some point, that's for sure. 
this is appealing once the wonder is done it's appealing enough or with the sphinx it's appealing enough but of course the sphinx in here would be very good for the faith game although later on it will be a culture district for sure heal a little bit I'm not sure if city-states take that. I certainly want to see this beautiful meteor spot. Yeah, we're not building the Sphinx yet and we're not removing anything here. So I want I want to see where iron is. I want irrigation and I want masonry. I think masonry even before irrigation. It means this has to wait, but it's a good tile either way. But if I save this dude long enough, then he can get plus one build slot from the pyramids here. I could buy this tile. Then again, it's just a flat river tile. It's not that crucial. Hanging Gardens usually goes also much earlier. It's surprising that the Temple of Artemis went before the Hanging Gardens. And just one turn after the Stonehenge. Those are late wonders, except for the Temple of Artemis, which the AI usually doesn't rush. Like I said, the Great Bath usually goes, or can go, even er as early as turn 18. Temple of Artemis doesn't go that early, because the Great Bath is here. The AI can start building that from turn 1. Not so much Temple of Artemis. They need to research this first to be able to build it. That's why it takes a slightly little bit longer. Also, Great Bath just needs to be on floodplains. There is tons of floodplains and enough AIs will start with floodplains. This one just needs to be next to a river, also very easy. While this one needs to be next to, in, to, an, improved encamp, uh, to an improved camp. So the AI needs a camp resource, needs to have it improved and needs a free tile next to it. That's a lot of requirements and that leads to the AI usually not be able to rush it. Okay, he doesn't hate me anymore. Let's send him friendship. Nice. Oh yeah, I sold him go this one last time. Let's do that again. Can use the money. Very nice. So I'm friends with these two that have a high military. That's really good. And with Sweden, I will peace out as soon as I can. She's quite scary with 20 culture and 33 science at turn 45. Yeesh. Bronze but we can catch up. We can catch up. Monumentality. Very good. Very good. Oh wow, we, that's a greedy settlement, my friend. That's a greedy settlement. Oh, Mohendro Daro wants a trade route. Well, I'm sorry, Alexander, but I prefer that. Went for the stone. But now it's ours and we got Era score right away this early. That's super good. The tiles are a little bit contested now, but it's it's okay. <sighs> Go for a monument. Go for a monument. Yeah, I want you to get these tiles. I may have to lock in the card for cheaper tile purchase. Oh, wait, I, have, I see the iron, right? So, no iron far and wide. Got Magnus in here. In two turns, I chop out this wonder. Okay, one more turn. The 
Let's wake this guy up one more turn. They both have two, two remaining, yeah? Very good. Well, City State can't take goody hats, so I think they will also not take this one, or can't take it, maybe. A strong economy. Very nice. The double experience I want to keep for now, but I want the wonder production in here. Because it will help this city and this city. Also in here I want to improve Magnus. Because this will allow me to faith buy settlers and builders. Also money buy this stuff cheaper. But back up there. Is the barb camp still here? Still here. Quite damaged. But I think um, this guy will deal with it. I get here for now. Of course, political philosophy. Now that we have the card in, I chop this out. Very nice. I should have checked if it's really this cities and not this cities before. Oh, I can't remove that. I have to wait two more turns. Okay, in two turns I have it. In two turns I've got it. They have all only one, so I want another builder. 90. Soothsayer would also be good. But I feel like the builder is more important for the moment. <laughs> because all these builders with one slot I want to save up until someone has built the pyramids. I hope that someone will be me. Oh. Hm. Okay, I, I see. <laughs> I can't start it yet. Takes another turn. Yes, please. Okay. Um, you will be ready to do something different. You could chop the jungle here. Yeah, you could be ready to chop the jungle here. We'll have to remove the feature though, then I need someone with two uses. You're what? Nice, nice, I've got two good friends, very nice. The cheap tile purchase I want to lock in when I have political philosophy, because I've got more card slots then. Also, who, ma how many, wow, Sweden, really, really, fucking really, people going science crazy. But Sweden and Macedon and another player, but all have no points in profits. Three people won't have a religion. Nice. I can get a profit if I want to. Even if only for error score. An archer over there. Yeah, no. 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 Iron in here. I mean, yes, Sphinx wouldn't be bad. Or chopping this wouldn't be bad, but I really want a pyramid. I want to move Magnus over here. I sprang upon the swift. Nice. Look at this ridiculous tile. By faith. Good. Whoops. I didn't buy the builder yet. I thought that was the builder that I bought because it was in the city, but it was the one. Oh well. I'm not reloading for minor things like that. I just wasted one builder slot. That's okay, I guess. 
I want the government plaza. Okay, so now that I know I have no fucking iron, I know. I know it won't be easy to get an industrial zone. Okay, let's do planning. Let's do some planning. So. Campus can go next to this. Yeah, that would that would be quite good. Look like um campus here and this city could do the campus here, right? And my capital could then do the government plaza here for extra science. That's not bad. I also see multiple spots for aqueducts. Um, I see some wonder here. Yeah, it's not two faith per wonder. It's two faith if there is a wonder. Keep that in mind. Um. Yeah, but it gives shit at more good tiles oh yeah and please uh the faith is great but work these three tiles and then go for food production and faith okay i could get an aqueduct here or here or here Okay, let's say I get the aqueduct here. Um, settle a lens. I could do shenanigans here with an aqueduct in there. City here, aqueduct here. Right? And then an amazing capital industrial zone here, surrounded with four mines. That would be really good. I see one problem. Ruhr Valley is not an option if I do that. No wait, Ruhr Valley can go on a hill. So I could get Ruhr Valley here, culture district here, Maybe for this city, an industrial zone here. And my capital can still get a commercial hub, maybe in here. That's pretty good. And of course the culture district on here. But later on, right now I value the faith. Um, I can build multiple, um, okay, let's go for the granary and then buy the builder next turn, buy the builder next turn because I want to chop this. And then move Magnus in here. Can also bring this guy over. Because soon it is time to spam out settlers. What I want for that, the set, I want the pyramids to be finished. And I want the government plaza with ancestral hall. You have only one slot left. So you basically just stay somewhere and don't do anything. Sphinx in here wouldn't be bad.
Yeah, smash me if you want. I don't mind. Okay. Builder. Oh wow, we are over one hour in already. This is fine. <clears throat> the man who has written. Although we could move on to this tile, then he also has river crossing. Move here. Okay. Doesn't reach this, but it will reach this. We got irrigation, very nice. Now let's go for riding. Okay, um, one more turn, then I need to redo the tile assignments. I think you work on these two, right? Yeah, you do, that's okay. Okay, you know what? Let's make a cut in here. See you in the next episode.